Hey, what's up? My name's Steve Fullington. You know me from World Neighborhood Coalition. Told me up top. You already know what it is. All right, so today we're doing interviews. We're doing an interview to see what type of bureaucracy, red tape, what kind of stuff stops our youth from succeeding with their initiatives. So what we're doing today, or what we've been doing, is we've been creating programs. Programs started by youth, for youth, and the Jane and Finch. And I have my young man, Eduardo. And I'm going to be asking Ed, what type of problems, what type of red tape has, has he gone through creating this music program. So Ed, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? All right, so listen, I want to talk to you. You were telling me about some some bureaucracy, some things that uh, was making it hard for you to print some papers for your music program. Yes, it's just like a, a lot of negativity. Um, the older adults at the uh, printing place, they, they don't really care what we're doing and stuff, so they're giving us negative feedback okay. and stuff. So hold on one second. Before you go into it, I'm going to get you right back in. Tell me about what you're doing. Tell me about the project. Um, well, the project is One World Music Program. Um, it's a program that's led by youth for youth to help them with their music, dancing, beat making and stuff. It's a really fun and educational program. What are big things within the program's big activities, like stuff um, that can get our attention? There's a lot of trips we take. Uh, our final big trip will be to Niagara Falls. Hopefully to have a big music concert there, show what Jane and Finch is made of, what kids can really do with uh, when we're given power and stuff, uh, creativity, and many other possibilities. Okay, so now you're telling me about an issue that you're having at the ANC office with the manager of the ANC. Now you're supposed to go up there and do some printing. We've, we, you've done printing before and you're supposed to go up there and get a couple sheets printed. What happened? Um, she said that we aren't allowed to print there. That's funny because we went there a couple of weeks ago to get 200 sheets printed for our outreach and this time when I went around I asked the front lady she says okay when she told the manager the managers that we weren't allowed so I was kind of shocked and so then I talked to the front uh, the lady at the front desk again she went and she tried and she told the manager oh I walked all the way for Jane and French just to get some papers printed and it's a community thing so it's really weird like that we weren't allowed to print at all because the government gives them resources for to help the community and they're not doing that. So uh, I was really shocked and then after a couple of minutes, the front lady at the front desk finally got the permission to print it and it wasn't fully printed because we, after we got a couple of sheets printed, it was photocopied so it was not a, quite the nice quality that we wanted it. So let me understand, so uh, I know because I was able to print there before so they allow you to print multiple copies sometimes even in the hundreds depending on what you're doing but you're saying she didn't even after all that they didn't print it out for you what happened what did they sh what did the manager actually tell the woman to do for you she just told her to photocopy it to photocopy it so yes. what print one and photocopy print one the copy and photocopy in the rest of the hundred oh, man. and the quality of it wasn't that good and it's not even like it's not even that nice. Okay, so um, how do you feel about this situation? Uh, how do you feel about this situation? How does it affect you? This is really a really negative thing. It's like youth go up to these people to ask for help and they're turning us down. And this is the kind of things that makes youth not want to like ask for help or anything because they're being turned down all the time. Always negative things. Once in a while we get something positive, but we have to work really hard to achieve that. But when we ask for simple things, we get turned down real fast without even asking what the cause is for it. Okay, so so that was it. So again, this is Steve Fullington and this is Ed. And this is about the ANC office's experience at the Action for Neighborhood Change office, which is located at 415 Driftwood at the corner of Jane and Driftwood. Thanks a lot and hope I wish you the best with your project. And don't let these people stop you. Don't let these big organizations stop you. Keep going. You're doing a great thing. Yes, they won't stop us. Ah.